do you feel like the Civil Rights Act was a good idea, bad idea, in whole or in part? I think the 1964 Civil Rights Act, I think it was a mistake. I think at that, at that time, black Americans did not have the constitutional guarantees that everybody else had. Sure. And so I think that uh, maybe if there's any kind of law that written at all, it should say that the United States Constitution applies to all Americans irrespective of their physical or uh, physical attributes, uh, whether black, white, uh, female, uh, or uh, whatever religion. Right. I think as opposed to making a civil rights uh, uh, act, uh, which uh, creates many opportunities for mischief. Yeah, I, those those opportunities for mischief have been you know taken advantage of uh, over over the decades. Um, and a little bit in you know uh, recent news, this uh, this case and. You know, obviously, you don't have to comment on the details of it, but the the, um, the Trayvon um, case down in Florida. Um, do you feel like that there's just a level of paranoia about race, or a sort of you know we just kind of key into the race issue too quickly when things like that happen? Well, I, I think that uh, the Trayvon uh, Martin case has presented an an excellent opportunity for uh, the race hustlers in the United States, uh, including uh, uh, Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, and the, uh, the President of the United States as well. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a tragic set of affairs. Uh, as, of, uh, as of our conversation right now, we don't know all of the details of the uh, case, but I, I, think that, uh, uh, th that the, I think that the real message, or the real message of the, uh, of the, uh, of the Trayvon Martin case is the high rate of crime among uh, black uh, youth in, sure. in our country. Uh, and so it, uh, it naturally creates a, a suspicion. And for one to be suspicious of, uh, of, of young blacks does not make him a racist. As a matter of fact, uh, oh, some years ago, Jesse Jackson commented that, that well, uh, uh, when he's walking down the street and his footsteps behind him, how relieved, and he thinks of uh, being robbed, how relieved he is to see uh, somebody white behind him. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty telling, telling statement by him, right? Uh, yes, it is. And, but uh, however, uh, 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 you know, pe people have to play the odds. Uh, um, and, and so people engage in, in, in racial or sexual or criminal uh, profiling. Uh, now, of course, um, uh, God would never be a profiler because God knows everything. Right. He knows who is a criminal and who is a terror. So he would never engage in profiling, but we as human beings, we're, we're not, not gods. We're not and gods. so we, we don't have that kind of knowledge, and so we have to uh, base our uh, decisions on guesses and hunches. And very often, uh, one's race or one's sex is uh, adequate to make an uh, informed guess.